Hey, fifth and sixth grade. Here we are, the week of May 4th. We're in our last full month of school. I want to say just a word of encouragement to everyone that's been working really hard to do your best on all of your assignments for all of your classes. So this week, I want to look with you and study, explore, learn about Moses. So Moses is one of those six persons in the Bible with whom God makes a covenant on behalf of all of his people. And so I'm going to focus today not so much on the covenant that God makes with Moses, but who is Moses and why is he so important? So after you watch this intro video, you're going to watch the Exodus 1 through 18 video from Bible Project, and it's just really excellent. I think you're going to enjoy and learn a lot from it. But what do I want to share with you about Moses as we begin to explore this person who's so significant in salvation history? First of all, Moses comes onto the scene when God's people are literally slaves of the Egyptians. So, you know, Abraham has these sons and eventually Joseph is sold into slavery by his brothers in Egypt. And then there comes a point where the Egyptians and this new Pharaoh don't trust the Israelites anymore. They're actually being really fruitful, having lots of kids, and the Egyptians feel threatened. And so they brutally enslave the Israelites. So Moses is basically rescued from death because they were killing the Israelite baby boys. His mother has his little sister or his older sister put him in a basket and float him down the river. And he's discovered by the daughter of Pharaoh who takes her into her home and raises her like her own child. What is it about Moses? So he's chosen by God to free his people from Egypt. Moses foreshadows Jesus. Moses is a figure in the Old Testament that foreshadows or shows us, points to, gives us clues about Jesus and what Jesus will do and how Jesus is going to fulfill all of God's promises. So the birth story of Moses, here we have Moses as a child being threatened by death. After Jesus was born, do you know what happened? King Herod had all the baby boys killed. Jesus had to be taken with his mother Mary by St. Joseph all the way to Egypt to hide. Now at that point it was okay to go to Egypt. But Jesus spent the early years of his life as an exile in Egypt. In a way Jesus experienced what it was like to be an immigrant. He wasn't in his home. He was far from his country. As a little child growing up in Egypt, it was a while before they could come back to their own home. Same thing with Moses. When Moses was born, all the baby boys were being killed by the Pharaoh. So Moses foreshadows Jesus. Another point that I really want to bring out is that God reveals to Moses his name. This is very significant in salvation history. Moses is the first person in salvation history that God expresses or tells his name to. And it's kind of mysterious what God says. He says, I am who am. God reveals himself as being itself. He is, he exists. And from God, all life, all creation comes, right? So God is the seat of existence or being. That is like a mind-blowing philosophical way of expressing who God is. But God reveals his name, I am, to Moses. And this is important because it means that God wants to be in relationship with Moses. When you meet somebody, you usually say, hi, my name is Joe or Alex or Yumalai or whatever your name is, right? Hi, my name is Sister Alicia. We reveal, we share our name with the other person, indicating or showing that we're going to begin a relationship. And so God reveals his name to Moses. Very important that personal name begins a new level of relationship between God and his people. God wants to be in relationship with his people and he's using Moses as the, the intermediary, the go-between, the representative of his people to renew, to restore, to recover that relationship that got lost in the garden when Adam and Eve sinned. So very, very significant with Moses and the revelation of God's name. Now, 
The other point that I want to make about Moses before I have you watch the Bible Project intro video or Exodus video 1 through 18 is that Moses also foreshadows or points toward Jesus through the signs and wonders that he works. So we know that Jesus worked many miracles. He healed sick people. He rose people who were dead, like Jairus' daughter was dead. Lazarus was dead. The widow of Nain's son was dead. Jesus literally rose people from the dead. And then he rises himself from the dead, right? Jesus is God. Well, Moses works incredible miracles. Um, of course, they're kind of scary miracles for the Egyptians, but God uses Moses to bring down the 10 plagues upon Egypt. Um, and as an interesting side note, this is kind of going to get touched on in the Bible Project video as well, but we don't have a lot of time to go into this. We've only got one week for Moses, but the 10 plagues that come down on Egypt, God is actually acting against 10 of the false Egyptian gods. So every plague is basically God saying, this Egyptian God that you're worshiping is a fake God. I'm the real God. I'm more strong, more powerful. I am. Right? So it's actually really cool. Those 10 plagues that God sends literally crush these fake gods that Egypt is worshiping. So I just thought you guys would think that's really cool. I think it's really cool. Um, so Moses. And then, of course, when we get into our Zoom class later this week on Wednesday, we're going to talk about the Passover. And think about this, ladies and gentlemen. The Passover was this special sacred meal where the blood of the lamb saves the Israelites from the angel of death, right? And who is the lamb that saves, <coughs> excuse me, saves us by his blood? Jesus, right? So that last supper that Jesus celebrates is Jesus celebrating a Passover meal with his friends, transforming it into the very first mass. So just as Moses led the Israelites in the first Passover, Jesus leads us in the new Passover, which is the mass that we celebrate to this very day where we receive the blood of the Lamb, Jesus, the Eucharist, sets us free from our sin, right? So Moses, God makes this covenant with Moses, which is represented by the law and the Passover, but he's setting his people free from slavery in Egypt through Moses. Moses leads his people out of Egypt, but Moses also foreshadows or points toward Jesus in a very special way. Sometimes we call Jesus the new Moses. So there's a huge biblical connection there. So that's all I'm going to say for this introduction. I want you all to watch the Exodus 1 through 18 video from Bible Project. And then you're going to read the call of Moses story and answer some questions. And I'll look forward to learning more about Moses with you in our Zoom class on Wednesday. Thank you guys. God bless you. Bye.